Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. Looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard. Now they're trying our backyard, or your backyard. Missed the Y there. And to top it all off, you can't even use your mushrooms. Because they're all, they, they'll all, they'll fall asleep during the day. Well, isn't that just dandy? So yes, we are in the backyard now. There's also the pool now, which means that we have to have the lily pad to plant anything on the water, basically. But that means that the, the zombies can also go in the water, eat stuff in the water, which is going to be annoying. Uh, but anyway, let's get the sunflower out. And yes, we can't use the mushrooms because they fall asleep during the day, so we're going to have to change our strategy a bit. Uh, I'm actually tempted to have the snow pea, but I'm thinking pro- no, hang on. Yes, no. There's an achievement for not using a pea shooter of any kind in this level. But I don't think we can do that. Quite possibly. So I'm going to just go with this for now. We will get more plants so we can come back and do something. So let's go. Pea shooter. Potato mine and walnut. Uh, I'm tempted to do chomper. I guess I grab whatever is left. Let's rock. Let's go. Unfortunately, this means we're going to have to take longer to set up our... Uh, what's it called? Our sunflowers, because we have to place lily pads for the rest of the, the sunflowers over here. But anyway, we should be fine. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. Give me more sun, please. Thank you. There we go. Now we need extra sun. Basically 75 sun for those two spots each, so... Let's do that. We've got time, luckily. Not a ton of it, but we have it, so... There's the second zombie. If I can place another potato mine, that'd be great. So let's do that. Spud pow! So now we just need to start setting up some pea shooters. Also, the music... I'm not sure if it's the same song as before, but I like the... That part of the song where it dings three times. I really like that. Anyway. Hopefully there's not going to be any cone zombies straight away, because that'll be annoying. I don't think they can throw stuff at you. It's usually it's usually progressive, so we should be alright. The only thing I'm worried about right now is any zombies showing up in the, in the pool, because that's going to take longer to defend. But I think I should be fine. Have those lily pads there, so we just need to do a bit more sun. We can start placing the pea shooters. There we go. And if we can get even more sun, that'd be great because I want to set up some other stuff. I might see about placing some more sunflowers depending on where these zombies fail, basically. So about there-ish is where I'm going to set up some sunflowers. There's a zombie going into the pool. But I can still deal with him apparently, which is good. Getting a lot of sun now, which is great. Uh, I just need a little bit more sun. I'm gonna wait until we get something more troublesome before I start planting more stuff. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's go there. Since there's a cone zombie there. Also tempted to put in some sunflowers on the water there. Also, the zombies will eat the plant on top of the, the lily pad first, and then eat the li lily pad. Put that there. Sunflower. Okay, this is good. Gonna have to start planting some more lily pads as well. While everything else is happening. Might be a good idea to have some chompers behind the sunflowers, possibly. Haven't tried that before, but I'm interested to see how that wor would work. As a strategy. Huge wave of zombies. This is the end. Also, zombies will shop out of the pool, so... So over here there should be some spawning in. 
Yep, there are two. But I think we should be alright. For the most part, except for the bottom row. That could be more defended than it currently is. I could just do a regular pea shoot, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Risk everything. Because why not? <laughs> Knock over stuff, it's fine. Okay. I think we've got this under control, so... But also, I need it symmetrical. It needs to be symmetrical. That's not going to work out very well, is it? Don't eat that. It's fine. I need it to be symmetrical. Hang on. Ha. He. There we go. Perfect. And we get... A squash. Squash of zombies. This is basically... Something... It's like a last resort kind of item, but also you can set it up. It, it's, it, it's basically a trap. It, 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 it's a trap, so... You place it down, and when a zombie gets close to it, you jump onto it, and then squash it. It can squash multiple zombies as well, as long as they're close enough together. But, yeah. Uh, but it costs a little bit more. Um... Okay. Just gonna do the similar strategy to what I did last time, except I'm not gonna do the chomper this time. I can't remember what else I was gonna say about the squash. It's probably fine. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> at all. No, don't do that. Maybe? Maybe. I'll, I'll, why not? It'll be fine, probably. I'm just wasting time right now. Zombies are coming. Oh, I don't have some to take care of the zombie now. Hang on. Do that. I'm used to the... I'm used to playing this on iPad where there's an upgrade that you can get. Which basically takes, like, it basically takes out the first zombie for you. I don't think it's in this version, as I can tell so far. As far as I can tell. <laughs> because I'm playing the Game of the Year version. And I don't think it's as advanced as I'm used to. Put that there. Start placing out pea shooters. And lily pads. Now I can put that like there, right? I think. Is that I think that's the way it was. I'm going all out with this strategy now. Probably didn't want to do that, but that's fine. He's not gonna make it after he gets to the thing there. It's fine. I'm in trouble. Oh, you're gonna have trouble with that as well. I have made horrible mistakes about this. It's fine, we can still fix it. Probably. I need more sun. Give me the sun, please. Give it all to me. Oh no. There's a cone zombie. I need so much more sun right now. Hang on, let me put that there for the moment. As my plan. That's that's the strategy I'm going with. Put a put a walnut in. I need so much more sun right now though. I don't want to put in a second pea shooter. I want a snow pea. There we go. That'll slot down at least so we can take it out more efficiently. Which should protect everything. But we are definitely- hey, present! Maybe there is some other stuff. Mini games unlocked. Play them from the main menu. Okay. Uh, get rid of you. Saw that zombie. Luckily. Put a pea- snow pea there. Looking good now. It's much better than it was a minute ago. Oh, there's that guy there. I'm gonna put that there then. To block him. Since he's got a newspaper and he's gonna rush after his, it's gone. Slow you down. There's that, another one there. Luckily there's a snow pea to slow him down. And also another walnut. We could probably use the... The squash to take care of some of these zombies. But it's probably gonna be better for zombies that are stronger. So it's not wasting sun. Wave of zombies. Just first wave, not the second wave. Ooh, the music shift. I like that. 
The way the music shifts is really good. Uh, anyway, let's take care of this bucket zombie. The squash can only hit stuff in its row though. That's what I was going to say earlier. It can only hit stuff in the same row. Slow down. Okay. Things are looking a little bit better now. We probably want to set up more walnuts than I have been setting up. But it has to take- it takes so long for them to recharge, so... We can probably set up regular pea shooters now as well. Since the snow peas- there really only needs to be one column of snow peas. Grab all the things, please. Uh, let's get rid of this, the buckethead zombie. Even though it could probably be taken out, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I think we've got on sun now. Just need to wait on everything else to catch up. We could play snow peas as well if we just need to get pea shooters out there, basically. But it seems like a waste of sun to me, so I'm gonna not do that. This is looking good. It's looking very good. I still wish that there was a hotkey for the seeds so I could plant them better. I could even start placing more lily pads out here. Possibly. Just in case I need to squash anything. Grab that money. I really am just waiting at this point for the seed packets to do their thing. Hey, walnut. Okay, final wave. Here we go. Oh, hello. I'm gonna get rid of you. Oh, there's guys in the water. Fine. I just didn't want that uh, football player to do anything horrible to me. I think we can take out the buckethead zombies just fine. We have four pea shooters in a row for each row, so has to be symmetrical. Uh, they're taking a while on that bucket zombie, and that means they're going to take a while on that bucket zombie. But also, that's what the walnuts are for. Well, there we go. And now it's time for the greatest upgrade of all time. Basically. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Three Peter shoots peas in three lanes. So it'll shoot in its own row and the rows adjacent to it. Which means that if you play it, put it in the top row, it will only shoot two snow peas. Or two regular peas, I'm pretty sure. I might, be, I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's a waste to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, anyway, lily pad, sunflower, three peter, I guess. Uh, I'll take snow, uh, a regular pea shooter just in case I need it. Squash, uh, definitely potato mine, and walnut. Also, there's now a, a snorkel zombie, which I think will be underneath the water, I think, until it gets to the plant that it's going to eat. So that's, it's it's time to have walnuts, basically just in the water to make sure that they aren't getting past. Let's rock. Hopefully. Let's go. Come on, son. I believe. Perfect. I don't think I'm going to be perfect on the next one, though. But I don't know if that's avoidable. Never mind. Got it fine. Somebody's on his way. I'm gonna wait a second because I have time. I missed. How did I miss? It's fine. <laughs> it was efficient. Trust me. I was manipulating the RNG. So I might do that instead of over there for the moment. Just so I can get sun a little bit faster-ish. Not that much faster, but still. Okay, now the potato mine would be good. It's recharging though, so let's put that there. More sunflowers, let's go. We need to get 325 sun, so that's what I'm aiming for. 
And I'm hoping that I can get to it before more zombies show up. Ah, oh, that's not good. Uh, let me put that there. That should be able to take care of that zombie. It's a little bit more expensive, but it can take care of it. Now, where we want to put, uh, three pieces... Yeah. Uh, is probably on the, this red lane here and this lane here, because that means they'll take care of all six lanes with just two plants. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in so much trouble right now. Okay, three Peter, let's go. I also want to set up some walnuts over here. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. Please take care of that zombie before it eats all my plants. Thank you. Uh, I need more sun, please. More sun, please. Oh, that's a cone zombie. I might want to just take him out. Probably worth it. Okay, another three Peter. And now look at that. We have all the rows covered with just two plants. <laughs> Probably want more than this, but it's a, it's a good starting point. We also probably want to just have plants so we can defend better. We could actually use the sides, I like the top row and the bottom row for sunflowers possibly. If we wanted to. We put a double one there, so now we're getting so much power there. We also have to keep in mind that the, when the peas start going off into the, the, the adjacent areas, they also go diagonally. So they do take a little bit, like they, they don't work if the zombies like above the plant. So, there are some problems that we're going to still have, but it's probably good for the most part. Walnut. Okay. I'm tempted to put in more sunflowers, so I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Because why not? I could pro it probably would be better to put in more sunflowers, to be honest. Just further up, forward. And not as far back. Put in some more sh pea shooters on the sides. I have to click so many things on the screen. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, snorkel zombie. This guy's under the water, so we can't shoot it while it's under the water. I'm so Australian. The water. It's fine. Another snorkel zombie. But yeah, it only pops up when it's eating. I just realized that I have three things here, here in a row. I don't know why it took me that long to figure that out, but anyway, it's fine. Um, I probably want to have things in better places than I currently do. I'm going to probably adjust this as I get further further into the level. But for the moment it's working, so... I have so much sun. So many, so many sunflowers. Oh, what was I thinking when I did this? It's fine. My thought process is just keep planting. A lot of snorkel zombies, but that's fine. We've taken out pretty much everything without any problems. Also, we can use the middle two rows as well to be even more efficient. But that means that the top and bottom are going to be a lot weaker. Oh, I'm tempted to put that in, but it's fine. I think three Peters on the edges is probably fine, actually. Okay, I'm going to do that. Oh, they're going through my plants. Fine. All fine. I'll take them all out. There's so much sun on the screen right now. Click it all everywhere. Just click everywhere. I have everything under control. Don't eat that. I need it to be symmetrical. I can't click all the sun right now. There really needs to be an easier way to click on everything. Anyway, is it symmetrical? This is the important question. Not quite. Hang on. I have to fix it. There we go. I think that's symmetrical now. 
It's important. Trust me. It, it's RNG manipulation. Anyway, we get Tangle Kelp, which is basically a potato bomb for in the pool. But also it doesn't have to it doesn't have to charge as well, which is good. And it's very uh very cheap. I don't know how long it takes to gr like recharge though. But anyway, let's keep going into level whatever this is at this point. Ah, uh, three Peter, squash, tangle thing, potato mine, and walnut. This should be fine, probably. I'm probably gonna do what I did last time, just more chaotically. Because every time I play a level, it has to be more chaotic than the last. Nice. It does actually take a while to recharge the kelp. It takes as long as a potato mine. According to this. Also, the squash is also pretty slow. Zombies are coming. Have to do something about that. I might use the edges for sunflowers early on. Because that just seems like it will make more sense to me. Ah, where did my mouse go? It's fine. How did it teleport? Come on, potato mine, I believe in you. Thank you for getting rid of that potato mine for me. I needed that space for plants. For more sunflowers. <laughs> Probably want to defend the water a little bit. So the zombies just don't have a clear shot to my house. I really need... I really need... more sun right now so I can start planting some actual stuff. Well, I could have done it a moment ago, but I spent money. I spent the gold... Uh, the, the sun. The golden sun. I spent it all. Okay, there we go. That should be able to take that out. Okay, give me a second. I might need more than a second. It's fine. Let me put a potato mine there. To take care of that, in theory. I think we're good on sun for the moment. Like this. This actually looks pretty cool. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. Um, do that. To defend both sides, but I'm gonna have to do something about that cone zombie, I think. Although maybe with one pea shooter can take care of it. From that distance. Hopefully. That's a very hopeful. I need the cone to be gone, like, right now. No, I don't think it's gonna make it. Oh, and there's a... guy there. It's fine. I need more sun, which is strange, considering how much sun I currently have. So many sunflowers. That's not enough. Have to click everyone on the screen all at once. Okay. Need to defend this side a bit more. Also, I probably should do something about snorkel zombies. Because they're currently the biggest threat. Please, thank you. Need to complete the sunflower box that I'm currently working on. Gonna make a big square of sunflowers. First wave of zombies, and we also have three waves in this level. So I better be, be I better be prepared for it. Oh, there's a diver. Snorkel zombie. Same thing. It's a good thing that the three Peter recharges so fast that I can't get enough sun to buy a second one in a row. It's fine. Okay. This is looking perfect right now. It's flawless. Nothing can stop me. Except maybe that zombie that's just about to get through. I'm gonna get rid of you. 
Oh, diamond. That's a lot of money. Put that in there. Okay. Also, we can use the thing to get rid of... We can use the tangled kelp. To get rid of the divers. Oh, hello. I'm gonna get rid of you, please. We have the javelin zombies again. Which is all sorts of fun. Please plant that, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I can plant any more sunflowers without losing my mind. Gonna get rid of you. It's just so nice that they hit three rows. It just multiplies my power. Okay, let's keep doing that. Bottom row is a little bit under-defended right now, but that's okay. They can handle it. Second wave. There's all the, the, the potato mine just there that's doing nothing. Let's get rid of you. You really have to pay attention to a lot of things all at once in this game. It doesn't seem that complicated at first, but then it gets a lot more complicated very quickly. Pole vaulters, uh, let me just put that in there and that in there. Just to stop you. I'm not gonna collect sun from that, I'm just gonna leave it there. It'll probably won't, it probably won't last very long, considering. I just collected sun from it, it's fine. It helped, just a little bit. Uh, let me get rid of- nope, you're fine. Okay, there goes that sunflower. Um, okay. Interesting, interesting. Also, I think the Thrupeeters are just so strong that the diver zombies have no time to eat the plants, basically. Let's do that. And I think I'm gonna start putting in Thrupeeters on the top and bottom rows. Although I don't have much time to do that, so. Since we're close to the end of the level. I'm not sure if it's going to be symmetrical. It's going to be sad. It's so sad. Well, so speaking of symmetrical, let me put you in there. That's the good thing about these things, is they don't have to be symmetrical with stuff outside of the water. They just have to be symmetrical with each other. Okay, here we go. Final wave. Oh no, don't eat it. It's fine. Well, there goes the symmetrical tangled things. The tangled kelp. I just want to fix that up. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, this is the thing that I was... wasn't sure if it was in the game or not. Crazy Dave's car key. Now you can visit his... Now you can visit Crazy Dave's shop. Hey, you found my car key. You know what that means? Crazy Dave's Twiddly Dinkies is open for business. That's a great name. Have a look, see if you can't find something you like. So, we have a ch oh, we have a choice right now. All Twiddly, twiddly, twiddly Dinkies are priced to move. We could get eight slots or we could get the double sunflower, which I think is probably the more pressing one, probably. So I'm going to buy that. I'm also going to buy the rake, because the rake is basically going to take out the first zombie in each level. Uh, but it only does it for three levels, I think. So I need to keep buying it, probably. Yeah, three levels. Uh, we can also buy the pool cleaners. Which is an upgrade, I believe, to the pool defense, which means that the lawnmowers will actually work in the pool, because I don't think there were previously. So let's do that. But there we go. Funny thing about the zombies' pro uh, process, sometimes it makes them crawl out a real little. Real little and real mean. Defend your skins! It's the fifth level. So let's go. 
Ready, set, plant. I love this theme so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there they are. They're so tiny. Gonna wait a second. But at least we took out the first zombie without any problems. I'm a little bit concerned now. Let me get rid of you. Please give me something to work with. Please. I would appreciate it. Also, they're eating fairly quickly. Hang on, I'm gonna cherry bomb. Now, I guess. Okay, we have a pea shooter. Let's set that up, and hopefully that will... Oh, there's stuff in the water. Oh, there's stuff in the water. There's so much stuff to keep them track of. I don't have stuff right now. I need... I need stuff. Take you out. Oh my goodness, I really need more than this currently. Let's do that. Exploded 10 zombies in, a, in with one cherry bomb. Cool. Good stuff. Good, 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 good stuff. Also, that guy's gonna get through. Possibly give me what I need. Never mind, that's good enough, I guess, hopefully. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Okay, good enough. Also, right click to cancel if, if I haven't mentioned already. Because if I if I place that cherry bomb where I was going to place it, that'd have been bad. Oh boy, there goes the scuba divers. Tempted to blow this up, possibly like that. Oh boy, it's fine. We should be able to take these football zombies out. Probably. Let me put those walnuts in there, just to make sure. Oh my goodness, so many zombies. There's so many. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take you out. Like that. The cherry bombs are very useful in this level. They're very useful. Okay, um... No, I'm gonna hold off on that. I think we can defend well enough, especially if we do that. But here is gonna be a problem in a second, so let me do that. That was not the efficient place to put that. Here and here, and here are the efficient places to put cherry bombs right now. Well, so let me do that and that. Because that will clean up everything. Final wave. Here we go. It's not going to be symmetrical, no! It has to be symmetrical, maybe there's still a chance. Let me just blow up all of that, and we're done here. Hang on. I will delete the- I will delete them to make it symmetrical. Anyway. Get a jalapeno. Destroys an entire lane of zombies. It's like a cherry bomb, but for a row. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.